Hey guys, it's the Jacked Vegan back again with another video and I've taught you how to L sit and I've taught you how to handstand and now it's time to put those two things together and teach you how to L sit to handstand. The requirements. So there are a few things you need to know before you start learning the L sit to handstand. So you need a good L sit first, of course. So you need to be able to hold for at least five to eight seconds is a good amount of time um, just before you start learning. So you need a good L sit. If you don't know how to L sit, I'll link you to this video here where I teach you how to L sit in two different methods and you also need to learn how to handstand. So a good handstand, five to 10 seconds is good enough. And then you can start learning the L sit to handstand. The form. So quickly I'm just going to show you a quick example of the L sit to handstand press with bent arms with good form just so you guys have an idea of what it should be looking like and what you should be trying to aim for. So as you can see I start in the L sit with straight legs and I do this by contracting my quads and pointing my toes and then I go into a kind of tuck position and start leaning forward into a sort of bent arm tuck planche. But as you can see the angle between my forearm and my upper arm is not going less than 90 degrees. So I'm keeping about 90 degrees and then pushing up from there into a straight handstand where I try and hold this. So now we know the form of the L sit to handstand bent arm press, but how do we actually start practicing it? Well, we do that in step one, which is the bent arm support hold. So you might be wondering, how do you do the bent arm support hold? Well, what you do is you put your hands on your parallettes or on the floor, shoulder width apart. You then lean forward as if you're coming into the bottom of a pipe push up and then hold it there once your forearm and your upper arm hits 90 degrees. So you don't want your forearm or your upper arm angle to be less than 90 degrees as I'm showing you here. And then you can do this progression either with your feet off the floor or with your feet on the floor. Off the floor is harder as you're elevated and then on the floor is easier as you're supported. You want to get good at this progression and be able to hold it for at least 10 or plus seconds um, to get really good at the bottom of this position because this is one of the hardest positions to be in during the press. But once you have that down, you can move on to the next progression, which is called the L sit to bent arm tuck planche. To do the L sit to bent arm tuck planche, get yourself into your L sit and start bending your knees and retracting your legs in towards yourself. Once you start getting into a tucked position, you should start leaning forward and trying to get into that bent arm support hold and holding yourself elevated off the floor. So to move on from this progression, you should be able to do eight consecutive reps. So as I shown you here, you should be able to go from the L sit into that bottom support hold elevated off the floor, which is called a bent arm tuck planche, and then go back to your L sit and keep doing that for reps, just so you get used to the transition of going from your L sit into the bent arm support hold. So keep doing that for reps. And once you hit about eight reps and get comfortable with that, you can move on to the next progression. Once you have that progression down, you can move on to the next progression, which is the L sit to the bent arm tuck handstand. To do this progression, you're doing the same thing you did in the L sit to bent arm tuck planche. However, now when you're going into that bottom support hold or bent arm tuck planche, you're now trying to raise your hips. So using that momentum from going into the L sit, you're gonna use that momentum to raise your hips and try and stack them over your shoulders and try and hold a bent arm or if you can do it straight arm, do it straight arm, but a bent arm uh, tuck handstand. Again, you wanna be practicing this progression for reps, so um, not exactly holds unless you're working on your balance, but you wanna be doing this for reps. So again, um, eight to 10 reps is a good amount to be aiming for consecutively, um, and just get used of, to the transition and using momentum of you tucking your legs and leaning forward to get your hips up over your shoulders and get into that bent arm handstand position. The second to last progression is just working on your vertical pushing strength. So you can either do this using weight by doing Arnold presses or shoulder presses, or you can do this using body weight training by doing any variation of the pike push up. Now, after working on your vertical pushing strength, you should now have the right amount of strength required just to push your stuff up from that bent arm tuck handstand into a straight handstand. And you just need to work on your balance and you should have the full L sit to handstand bent arm press. 
Now, if you're still not there or your vertical pushing strength is close, but still you're just not getting up fully into the handstand, I have a bonus tip to help you out where you do basically the negative. So you get up into a handstand and then you go slowly down into a negative. So you go into a tuck to ball and then into your L sit, just doing the transition in reverse. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys now nail that L sit to handstand bent arm press. I've been the Jack Vegan. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe for more calisthenics tutorials like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.